Hey everyone, come back to another Counterside video. So today we are going to be discussing the ups and the bans for PvP ranked. So let's start this video. But before that, if you wanted updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so we're here at ranked for the first day of rank. So it's actually going to be six days, two hours left. And let's check out this week's uh, bans and ups. So for your banned units or heroes or what it counters. So you have here um, Gayun. So Gayun has been further banned for the second consecutive week. So she's now at ban three. She was pre previously, I think, at ban one or two. I forgot. But she actually is banned and definitely she can't be used for this week because again, um, her deployment cost would be up to six. So three for her own and ban three. So again, this is actually going to be useless if you bring her. She would definitely be a waste of deployment cost. Next would be Evelyn Keller, which is actually was very obvious because what I've seen in PvP was almost every matchup that i had had evelyn keller so she's the top healer for for last week and now she's now at band two which is actually impractical if you bring her at five deployment cost next would be zhao lin zhao lin again is at band is actually at band one um i'm actually at on the fence with her i'm not really a fan of uh, five casting except for Probably um, Titan because Titan, Titan is, I think, at 6 or at 5. I forgot. But more or less, if your sniper is at 5, it's actually very... Um, it's it's not not really practical in a way. It's, that's, not the, that's not the right word. But it's it, it isn't going to be optimal. Yeah, that's the word. For you to bring a 5-cost sniper. But if you really want to bring Zhao Lim, she can actually be, I think, be a little be viable in this week's PvP. So more or less, again, please feel free to bring her with 5 deployment cost. And also, Nana, Nanahara Chifuyu at ban 1. She's again banned for this week from last week. At 4, of course. And... What we have here is Hayami Sanai from Ups with two casting. Now she's at four. So again, pretty much highly used last week in PvP. Again, um, I think I would have to agree with, with some. But I think the one that I don't agree here is going to be Nanahara Chifuyu. Um, the rest, I think, would be, would, 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 would be spot on. But... Again, for Nanahara, I think she should have been uh, out of this list already. But again, most of our favorites are not here. Namely, Kyle Wong. Namely, um, Elizabeth Pendragon. And actually, the other one would be Yang Harim. So, three of them are free of bans for this week. And they are going to be used i'm sure in pvp this week um i'll show you later my team in which um i used actually all three of them uh in the current team that i have i think so if i can remember but we'll go to that later in terms of banned ships so you have here a ban one on glipnir so attack hp skill haste minus 20 and for lake superior which actually i'm i'm carrying is also a attack hp skill haste minus 20 um in my opinion i think lake spear is still worth it to bring with with all of all of the skills that lake superior has i think for me uh in pvp i will still bring lake superior rather than glipnir um if you have other other what you call this other ships that you have that you can use um it's a good idea that now you use them uh, but again if you have these two and if you have if you have if you don't have any more backups in terms of ships um i'm afraid you'll have to stick with them or go with the lower levels of ships like r units for ships so for the ups units 
So we have a new batch of ups units. So we have Mia. So Mia is actually um, at three now from four. And actually you have here Reaper, which has two. I think uh, Reaper is at, was at three. And Stronghold now at two, which previously is at three. Let's go through each of them in terms of their package or in, in terms of their skills and in terms of their kit. Let's check that out. And also the ships, I would go with if if I have if for example this is my this is going to be my ship list, I can actually go with um, Stellar or probably Coffin temporarily if I don't want to go with Lake, Lake Superior. If you guys have them. Kimizumi is actually the one one that hasn't has had a high utilization. And if you have Kimizumi, I'm sure you're going to continue using Kimizumi. Again, if you have some of the some of the higher tier, the the SR tier ships like Abraham, I've seen high use as well. More or less, you'll have the option to use this aside from uh, Lake Superior and Glepnir as well. The three units that have been up for this week, you have there. Let's talk about Stronghold first because Stronghold is actually a very, very good um, defender. Um, can compete with the best. And now that, that the Stronghold times two is at two deployment cost, I'm sure that you guys will have, will have um, uh, what do you call this, will have a big tanky two cost defense in your team and more or less they are actually annoying because they attack also all around so air and ground as well if you can take a look at their stats so again um basic skills passive skill is point shooting pistol basic attack moving forward forces the inflicted enemy to forces the impl inflicted enemy to attack him for three seconds so again the pass another passive skill will be worse at titanium alloy body bunker decreases damage taken by 10 percent and damage uh resistance is, is increased as you level him up then pa another passive skill is can't die like this acts selflessly inspiring his comrades increases all increasing all units damage reduction by five percent for six seconds upon death which is actually very good buff duration is increased as you level up the skill Next would be, let's look for Mia. So Mia, Mia, where are you, Mia? <laughs> Mia, Mia. Where's Mia? Uh, Mia. Oh, here she is. Okay. I'm sorry. I couldn't find her because I don't have her yet. So Mia is a sniper. So she is now down to three, which is actually very viable. Let's take a look at her stats, skills. So basic attack, fires a sniper rifle at the foremost target. So passive skill would be celebrate successfully accomplishing a mission during a show. After every fifth basic attack, her attack is increased by 25% for 10 seconds, which is actually good. Um, special skill is delivers three consecutive knockback attacks if enemies are present within seven meters, which is actually very good as well. And for her ultimate skill, which is Raid Party, you have uh, fires a gun three times that, that takes a long time to charge, but shoots increasingly powerful bullets, inflicting knockback and AoE damage. So again, very good in terms of knockback for special and her ultimate skill, which I think she will, she will show some use, especially for those who have leveled her up. Next would be, I think, Reaper. So Reaper is going to be here. So for Reaper, Reaper is actually unique because um, uh, more or less Reaper can drive by and go back. So let's talk about uh, Reaper's basic skills. So fires missile at the deployment spot, inflicting AOE. Next is passive skill, LBU-16 missile, performs remote-controlled bombardment attacks. It's deployment spot and leaves the field upon reaching the other end. So again, it's just a bombing run and comes back for another deployment. Successfully scrape restores one deployment resource, which is actually good because again, um, his deployment cost would further be down. So if you can see, 
his uh, Reaper is at three. Now he's at two with the ups. And uh, if successfully returned, he is going to reduce or give back to you one deployment cost, which eventually would only cost Reaper to play is only one deployment cost. Okay. And updates its OS and uh, passive skill, sorry. Updates its OS and improves its precision attack capability, inflicts 20% or more damage on snipers, which is actually very good. We're looking for sniper killers because, again, I'm sure um, Shaolin would be back. And a lot of snipers are back, actually, in the meta. And more or less, again, let's go back to the passive skill. Um, if you make Reaper your leader, more or less, he would only be at one cost. So you can actually spam Reaper because of this. So, so three. So for the ups, it's going to be two. Then for the leader, it's only going to be one. So again, um, Reaper is a good spam skill or spam unit. And you can take advantage of Reaper if you have leveled up Reaper already. Okay, so those are the three ups. And let me show you guys my team in terms of PvP for ranked. So... I actually played rank already today, and uh, if you can see my team here, so this is what what I got. So I still have um, I'm I'm not using band units, and I'm still uh, I still want to more or less play with this team. I've inserted here Kyle, um, Elizabeth, and Young Harim. So Young Harim actually replaces Evelyn Keller, and Kyle Wong. Uh, I think it replaces Lin Xin. And uh, who's the other one? I forgot the other one which um, which uh, Elizabeth Pendragon replaced. But more or less, this is actually my team. I've tested this out and actually I'm very happy with this team. I've leveled up Titan recently and, um, and more or less for Sylvia, she's going to le be level, uh, what they call this, level 100 soon. For Elizabeth, I actually just decided to 6-star her today because, again, she's being used in PvP. I had to hold up her, what do you call this, her leveling up. And her skills are not even at 5 yet for both 1 and 4. So, again, through the whole week, I'll try to level up her skills. And more or less, this is my PvP team. Okay, so here we are looking for an opponent. So, again... Um, Esther Rosa is actually good at 5, but um, again, if she sh she swarmed and if she's knocked back or if she's stunned and she becomes actually vulnerable to a lot of a lot of uh, heroes. So let's deploy here at the back. So we have here Kyle on the other side. So I'm not sure if this is the same team that I had a problem earlier. So I hope not. So let's have Yang Harim. Again, I'd like to spam smaller units with... What do you mean smaller units? Is smaller deployment cost units. So that I would have a chance to more or less you know have a i like to spam units because again especially if they're tough and if they are they can be used as you know they they, they usually delay you know delay the opponents and that is what i like until i set things up so let's wait for let's drop elizabeth here to take care of her so more or less this is a slow and steady advance towards victory. So again, that is it. Okay, guys. So that is it for my video. So thank you guys for staying up to this end. And if you would like, please consider subscribing to my channel because this helps me a lot. Also, please don't forget to click on that bell icon and put a like on this video as well if you like the content that I put out. Also, guys, stay safe, take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.